out the weekend, Emma, we do play Brentford, which is the last game of the season. And obviously after Villa, I feel like the atmosphere is going to be incredibly toxic. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a must win game, really. And I think I think it's difficult because, you, you know, you think last game of the season, um, last home game of the season, it's meant to be great atmosphere, end on a high, but it's just it's just so difficult. And I just feel like there's there's so much riding on the summer. You know, normally we have to just think about the transfer window and how many players are going to be rumoured and they're not come. But now we've got a whole manager search as well. And I think, I think, I mean, no game is easy at the moment, but I, d- I just think, it's, it, yeah, Brentford is not going to be an easy one. And I just think we just really, these last two games, I just think it's so important to win to at least have that to take from this season that we ended on a high. Because mm, at the moment we ain't ended on anything. Um, and obviously, George, with Brentford, like um, Emma said, it, it's not going to be easy. And like I said, I, I don't know how I'm going to take, because obviously I'm going on Sunday, um, like I said, because it's it's the last game of the season, you want to enjoy it. But I don't know if it's going to have that atmosphere, because obviously I think Enik, um uh, out movement is going to be happening. Um, mm. I don't know whether there's going to be rings around the stadium. And to be fair to you, I, I'm in the stance that if your voice is going to be heard, let it be heard. Yeah, and look, they've been doing it the last few games anyway, no matter what, whether that's in the away or the home. And I mean, obviously, especially at home. Um, I heard it for like the first minute or two they were singing and obviously at the, the 20, 22 minute mark. So I'm fully expecting that to happen again. And yeah, fair play. If you if you want to voice your opinion, you definitely should, because we're in a bit of a shambolic state right now. Um, and it's, it obviously needs changing at the at the top for it to to get better because it's just the same old same old again. But I think it also de- then depends on how the game goes. If 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 we are getting thumped by Brentford, it's going to be incredibly toxic throughout the game. And I remember, oh, was it was it a couple of years ago now? The last game of the season, we ended up losing, and again, you just heard boos everywhere, people walking out, the the the, the, the all the chants. It's, yeah, it, it can easily get very, very, very toxic in that game. But again, look, if we win, sort of leave on a high, you know, potentially say goodbye to Hurricane, although I hope not. Um, <laughs> you never know. It, it, it could be a good day, but yeah, we'll have but, to just wait and see. Well, I think it will be interesting as well, actually, when they obviously do the lap of honour that they they always do at the last game. With like, I wonder, yeah, what his what he, what he'll do if he'll if he'll give anything away um because i think you you see a lot of players obviously this is more when they're definitely leaving but they do sort of say their goodbyes and i don't know it will be very interesting mm, it will be and obviously that day as well we have a double header because the women are playing straight after against reading so in that respect obviously i want it to be a little bit toxic in terms of voices being heard but obviously you want to get behind the team as well just because for the women playing in the stadium afterwards you don't want it to leave a sour taste 